want to ask you about some middleweight fights coming up. Triple G versus Jacobs, March 18th. Tell us what you think about that matchup. Well, what you think happens there? It's going to be a very good fight, you know, and um, this is what boxing needs, the best fighting the best. You know, the people with the belts, the champions fighting each other. Because at the end of the day, everybody wants to know who is the champ. You know, and everybody fighting each other is the only way to find out. I think Danny Jacobs is going to definitely cause problems for Triple G early on. I think he's going to give Triple G a style that he hasn't really seen before. You know, if Danny Jacobs sticks to his boxing, can ding Triple G and hurt him and make him think twice about coming in, he could go on and be victorious. But my opinion and my way of looking at it right now is I think Triple G is going to come on too strong later on in the fight. I don't think Danny is going to be able to hold him off for the full 12 rounds. And I think Triple G could get a late stoppage. Tell us uh, another big fight coming up. Canelo versus Chavez, obviously a little out of the middleweight division. First, uh, first I want to get your take on, obviously Canelo and Triple G were going back and forth on the weight issue. And once Triple G kind of was set on the Jacobs thing, Canelo's like, well, I'll just go four and a half pounds heavier than the middleweight. What was your whole take on that? This is business. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This, isn't, this isn't boxing. This right. isn't a sport. What's going on right now? This is business. You know, they're building up a fight. They're building excitement, and that's what the people want. Do you know what I mean? The people want excitement. The people want big fights happening. You know, of course, everybody wants Canelo, Triple G. But what you can't have is always what you want more. So I think that's what people. I think that's what's going on right now. You know, I think the boxing people out there now today are kind of teasing the boxing fans right now, saying, "Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen?" You know, so for me, I think it's better that it didn't happen because now look what we got. We got Triple G, we got Danny Jacobs, we got Canelo, we got Chavez. You know, I can definitely see the winners of each fight coming together and colliding. So let's talk about uh, Canelo Chavez. How, what happens there? How do you think that fight goes? And, and what do you think about uh, the weight that Chavez is going to have to come down to, 164 and a half? The key, the key here is going to be, is Chavez going to be strong at this weight? If Chavez is strong at this weight and can refuel up well and come in strong, he'll definitely give Canelo problems because Canelo hasn't faced anybody Chavez's size and strength before. So it's going to be very interesting. The key moment is if Chavez can make this weight comfortably and be strong at it. If he can't, Canelo wants all day long. He's going to be too strong, fast, powerful, everything. If Chavez comes in, on point, on weight, refuels up and comes in strong on fight night, it's going to be a different story. It's going to be a tough fight. He's a lot bigger than, than Canelo is. Without a doubt. Yeah. I want to ask you about your, your buddy, uh, Conor McGregor. Hmm. We saw you run into each other at the, at the airport uh, yeah. a couple months back. Uh, there's a lot of talk, obviously, of him and Mayweather. Yeah. Well, what's your take on all that stuff? Have you, and have you talked to him about that at all? At the end of the day, this is business right. as well. <laughs> you know, this is all about money. This is all about... Look, at the end of the day, these guys are athletes. They have both served their time as athletes. Mayweather has a much bigger legacy built for himself than Conor has. The two of them's come to a stage in their careers and in their life where they want to get comfortable. They want to make the most out of the sport. This isn't an easy sport. You know, boxing isn't an easy sport. MMA isn't an easy sport. You get in through them ropes, you get into that cage, you're putting your life on the line. You know, we want to get in there. We want to do what we have to do. Get out there, fit, healthy, and make as much cash as we possibly can. You know, and that's exactly what these guys are doing right now. You know, they're trying to build together a big fight. As it says, they're talking about it. They're teasing us. They're teasing those fans. They're like... Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? So at the end of the day, this is something that possibly could happen. Who do I think is going to win in a boxing match? Mayweather all day long. In an MMA match, McGregor all day long. You know, but at the end of the day, I have a strong feeling who I know is going to win. But I'm still going to watch it. You know what I mean? People saying, oh, this fight, this is whatever this fight you know ah, da, da, da. at the end of the day they're going to pay the money to watch this fight do you know what i mean because of the hype and because of the way they both of them talk they're two sportsmen they're two sportsmen that can play the game brilliant 
You know what I mean? They can be controversial, they can get fans excited, they can talk a lot of smack each, you know, so it's going to be exciting, I think. You know, there is definitely a possibility of it going to happen. You know, I don't think I'll be able to take it as serious as any other fights or anything like that, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm still going to tune in and watch it. Well, who's won the War of the Words to this point, do you think? <laughs> this is, um, you know, the both is going back and forward. It's going back and forward. Connor's talking smack. Mayweather's talking smack. At the end of the day, they're two amazing athletes in their own sport. I think Mayweather has just built a much bigger and greater legacy so far in his sport than Connor has. But Connor has did things that no other MMA fighter has ever did. Mayweather has did things that no other boxer has ever did. Do you know what I mean? They're both, put it this way, they're both the same characters in their own sports. You know what I mean? So this is going to be exciting. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. You know, if this fight happens, Those conferences are going to yes. be gold. Just what this is just what I was going to say. <laughs> The press conferences, the build-up to the fights is going to be much better probably than the fight itself. Yeah, I, I completely agree, yeah. I mean, who knows what the fight's going to look like, yeah, yeah. but yeah, the build-up is going to be gold for sure. There's a constant Instagram uh, post for that stuff for sure. <laughs> tell, uh, tell the fans where to follow you, man. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Follow me at Jay Quigley boxing on my snapchat you can follow me j under slash quigley twitter jason quigley facebook and j quigley one on instagram so hit me up follow me see the work i put in see me rise to the top march uh, 23rd against Glen tapia thank you so much for the time brother always appreciate it thank you man